Welcome back to Sort It Out SIFC. It's the Let's Play series where we're taking our created club all the way from League 2 to the Premier League. And that is exactly where we are. So, job done. Uh, not quite, because we're, you know, in the Premier League now. We've got to do something about it and do something decent and hopefully eventually win it. But that's not going to be happening this season. As you can see in the league table here on the left-hand side of the screen, we are just about above relegation so there's 23 games gone we're seven points clear of Fulham in 80 with a game in hand so fingers crossed we've done enough so far to get ourselves to safety it looks like by going through previous seasons uh, that 35 points 33 points may be enough but 35 is possibly well it's been enough every single season so far so if we get to 35 points we should just about stay safe. And there's lots of crap teams in this league this season. So Sheffield Wednesday, Brentford and Fulham aren't very good. Leeds aren't much better. We aren't very good. Brighton are somehow down there as well, as are Bournemouth. It's not until you get above Leicester, who are on 27 points, where you actually see some teams that are half decent. Which is unsurprising if top half of the table is half decent, bottom half is half bad, I guess. The way you want to look at it. Anyway, we are sitting 16th, and today we've got the FA Cup, mainly because I think we might be able to win this one. And then we've got Brighton at home, which we could do with winning, as they are 15th, and that will be some points to kind of put us a little bit further away from relegation. We've got Plymouth in the Cup, and Plymouth are a League One side, so hopefully we can beat them. Uh, you can see there's a lot of losses knocking about in the run. Uh, as we go through, uh, we drew with Brentford in the last episode, I believe. Uh, we got a victory against Fulham, which was important. Uh, got three goals against Man City and lost 6-3, which was disappointing. But, you know, we're, we then had a good run in December, especially over the Christmas period, mainly because our fixtures were favourable. We beat Wolves 2-1 uh, here at home, uh, and then beat Sheffield Wednesday, Leeds, and then Leicester, all teams who are in and around the bottom half of the table. So we've managed to do well to get points there. Uh, we also beat Bolton 6-1 in the FA Cup third round, which was a really good performance. Uh, but that leaves us with Plymouth today and then Brighton in the league at home. Hopefully a winnable uh, game. They are just above us, a point above us um, at the moment. But our goal difference is quite poor, minus 10. So we, we could hopefully win that one. But we've got the FA Cup game first. Before that, we've done a couple of transfers. We're waiting on a work permit for German defender Maxime Dahl from Mainz, who is going to cost us about 7 million in total. I think it's three up front. Three over two years and then a million if we don't get relegated or something like that. Um, but that's that's where we are. We need some more defenders who aren't average. So he should be good. He should be coming in soon. Uh, work permit date is in two days. So should be here uh, for the Brighton game. Uh, we have also brought in another defender for 2.1 million. Uh, new gen Abdullah al Shai from Saudi Arabia. Uh, we have bought him for 2 million from St. Pauli in Germany again. Uh, they're another defender from the German leagues. However, he comes injured, so he's going to be out for another six weeks, I think it is. Is it three three to six weeks? or Yeah, three to six weeks. So he'll be out until February at best. But he looks really good. Young Saudi, decent potential as well. So hopefully he's going to basically be good as soon as he starts playing in the side. Uh, we've got loads of central defenders now because we can't seem to get rid of any. But Kundi, we're trying to get rid of, but only on loan. Uh, same with Hayden, who's kind of a midfielder, defender. But yeah, we want to get rid of him, but only wanted on loan. Nobody wants Kilgore. Basically, all of our players are trying to get rid of. Only people want to loan them, so... Not great. Uh, Booty is about to go as well. He's uh, going on loan with a potential view to make it permanent in the future, but we'll see about that. Anyway, we've got Plymouth today, and this is uh, an FA Cup game. We love the FA Cup. I really love the FA Cup, particularly on a football manager, because it's just lots of fun. Uh, this is the 11 we're going to play with today. We've got pairs in goal, O'Brien, and our young new gen in defence with Masterson and Cooper. Uh, Cock, Ben Ramdani, Smith and Brug in midfield. Conta and Kina in the attacking midfield line with Lieburn up top. Uh, speaking of strikers, let's have a look who's got the goals this season. If we quickly show you, Archer is on six. Lieburn's on seven. And where is he? Uh, Claudio Osario on nine. Just just take that in a second. I mean, he's got six in the league, but nine in total. He got less goals for us in League One. Got five in League One. Now got six in the Premier League. I mean, also, he got 13 the season before in League One. But he's just consistently scored. 17 and 13 in League Two. This is League Games. 13 and five in League One. 18 in the Championship. Six so far, including a hat-trick in the Premier League. He has done 
so, so well for us in this save. He's been the highlight of the save. He's not in today's lineup because it's a cup game, but he's been well and truly the highlight of this save game. Uh, I'd recommend signing him if you are a lower league side looking to move up the ranks. Let's go out there and win. We should be the favourites. Uh, we're at home. Also, we're looking for a site for a new stadium, by the way. It says that now on our uh, facilities page, I think for a 14,000 seater. So not much more than we currently have. But I'm assuming if it's a new stadium, there'll be, you know, room to expand as we go into Europe and start winning everything and become dominant world champions. Which will definitely happen. 20 minutes gone. No highlights so far. We're going to shout encourage to try and spur them on to do something. We are playing positive football, but so far it's not working. And Plymouth are attacking down this near side. I think it's much of a counter-attack. Ball over the top. There's loads of men in the middle. Gone into the middle and it's gone over and hit the crossbar. Pears was flapping around in the middle of nowhere. But it's been just about dealt with. And Plymouth with the early chance to put them ahead against... Well, I suppose against the run of play. But it's the only highlight we've seen. So uh, Ben Rondami brings that one down to O'Brien. And we're going to have to try and build from the back. There's Conta back to the young Irish defender. And our two new gens linking up in the centre of the park nicely. That's Conta and O'Brien. For those who aren't sure. Uh, back to Masterson. Who's going to spread it out wide again? Yep. To Brandon Cooper. Not Bradley Cooper. But he is in our defence. And he's making a nice little run. Brug has been a lovely sign. And finds Keener. And he's made a run back inside. He's going to shoot first time. And it's been saved. Or pushed against the crossbar potentially. And blocked the rebound. And what on earth uh, was Ben Rondami doing with his arms like this as he was running? Not sure what he was shouting about. But we, we're going to get to half time. I'm not sure. There we go. Half time in the FA Cup. It's been dull. To say we beat Bolton 3 uh, 6 1, and they are a championship side. Sorry, I'm trying to find my mouse again. Um, we've not done that much, really. Not happy. Do better. Uh, we're going to go to attacking. We should be doing better against Plymouth. Uh, we should be scoring. We should be dominating. Essentially, they're League One. We're not League One anymore. It's been a while. Well, it's not been that long since we were League One. Two seasons since we were League One. Uh, but we aren't League One anymore. We are much better. We are Premier League. Uh, let's not lose this one, because that would be very disappointing, considering I'm only playing this on camera because I thought we were going to win. Uh, it's gone all the way over. What is that? Don't give a penalty. Why are you giving a penalty? If anything, that looked like it was a foul on our defender. It's been given. What? Uh, Plymouth with a penalty, an hour gone. This is a spanner. Right up the chuff. Triore shoots, scores. 1-0 Plymouth. Oh, dear. Um... I'm going to shout, demand more, because this ain't good. i not happy. Not happy with that one little bit at all. Uh, they've had three shots, one of them the penalty. The only one on target, the penalty. We've had 75% of the possession and have so far done absolutely nothing with it. Um, Keane is injured. He can come off for Rashawn Scott. Uh, Archer can come on for Leeborn. Rashawn Scott can't really play there. Let's change that, actually. I think we probably should... <laughs> Ekong, is he better? No. Okay, Rashawn Scott is going to be... I should have put um, Asario on the bench, really, shouldn't I? Leeburn can come off for Archer. Leeburn has had an absolute nightmare, a 6.2 rating. Uh, Brug is not having a good game. Phoenix can come on for him. Uh, he's not really played much of a part this season. And then Ben Ramdani can come on for uh, Booty, who's going to be leaving us soon. So we brought on some changes who... Uh, Probably aren't going to strengthen the side. We're going to go out with the FA Cup against Plymouth, which was not on my bingo card today, I'll be honest. Um, ten minutes left, and they have absolutely done nothing. Uh, berate. Attacking has not worked. We've literally done absolutely nothing. Four shots on target, 15 shots. We've we've seen none of them. Absolute... What is going on? Abysmal. I expect this kind of performance in the Premier League against good sides. We've just lost to Plymouth. We've literally just lost to Plymouth at home in the FA Cup. What what are you doing? No. I mean, it's one less cup competition to worry about because... Oh, dear. That is... That's bad. We're out of the youth cup as well. That's just... I mean, who cares about that? Uh, we lost 6-0 to Stoke under 18s. By the way. Keener's injured for two weeks. Great. Um, no, that's not good. That's not good at all. We're out of the FA Cup. Uh, we've got a league game in three days against Brighton, um, which we will obviously come back to in a second. Booty's off to Charlton on loan with a view to making it permanent. If, yeah, it'll be three million if he actually decides to go there. Great. 
Um, and we're going to make our defender sign as well in a second. Uh, right, I'll be back in a sec uh, when we've signed that new defender and got ready for Brighton at home. Great. Okay then, it's Brighton at home. Maxime Dahl is here. He's been signed for all of about eight hours, but he's in the starting eleven because we're not messing around. He joins Brunt and Masterson in defence. Pairs in goal. Cock, Ben Ramdani, White, Brugge in midfield. Williams and Osario back in the attacking midfield line with Archer up top as our lone striker. Right. Let's see if we can beat Brighton. Hopefully we can, because then otherwise this episode will have been a complete waste of time. Well, it won't have been a waste of time. Hopefully you'll have viewed it, signed up, subscribed rather, not signed up. Viewed it, liked it, done all of the great things that increase my reach here on YouTube. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, all of that is what I'm trying to say. We are kicked off, by the way, at Brisbane Road. Uh, it's nil-nil. First highlight of the day is a lofted ball forward. And Jan-Paul Van Hecker of Blackburn fame is in the Brighton defence. And I've got a really itchy nose today, so I apologise. Not been doing any cocaine, don't even think about that. But... There, that's just the situation, so I'm sorry for itching my nose. Uh, Brighton are attacking on the far side. Their Real Pedro has just gone around everyone and scored, and this is quickly becoming a very disappointing episode. We are 1-0 down already. Excellent. We're going to move from balanced to positive and try and turn things around. So that was 15 minutes gone. Brighton are ahead. So let's see how they're 22 minutes gone and see if we can equalise, because that would be good if we could, please. Please go on. Go on, please. Matoma trying to take it around everyone. Looks like he has done. Cuts inside to Gray. Gray finds... Oh, yeah, Pedro again in loads of space. And he scored his second. This is quickly, 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 quickly coming uh, unstuck. We're appealing for offside. The VAR is checking it. And it's been awarded. So, wonderful. Excellent. 2-0 Brighton. Every time they've touched the ball so far, it's gone in the back of our net. Shout of berate. That is what I'm doing. Trying to stop them from playing shite. Sorry for swearing, but that's what they've been doing. Osario has it. Out finds uh, Bruges on... Uh, no, he hasn't. He's lost it. Brighton are going to score again. Yao Pedro's going to get his hat-trick. Yao Pedro's got his hat-trick. This isn't good. I'll be honest. Not good. Far from it. Archer with a kickoff. Straight into the highlight again. How can we mess this one up? Masterson back to Brunt. It's not very fun being a side that doesn't win very often. I'll be honest. It's really not. Ben Rondami back to new boy Dahl, who is the first time I've said his name. Maxime Dahl. There we go. Osario is going to do a lovely little run and score. No, he's blasted it over. Should have been a goal. Should have been a goal. Um, I think it's a corner, actually. So there you go. Maybe it was saved. Looked like he just blasted it over. White's corner headed out Masterson with some sort of epic bicycle kick is missed at the near post but there we go Yao Pedro is probably going to get his fourth now because that's just what happens apparently whenever we see Brighton on the ball uh no Masterson intercepts it after his bicycle kick one oh dear me that's just not good that's not good at all that's four nil Literally every time they've got the ball, they've gone and scored. We are not good at all. This is terrible. Sort yourselves out. Absolutely abysmal performance. I've got no other words. Uh, at least we aren't directly getting relegated after this. So, I suppose there's that silver lining. Williams with the interception. Uh, Osario finds Archer, who gets scythed down, loses the ball. Wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Just get a shot at it. Just get a shot away. Just get a shot away. That's all I can ask. Get something on target. As as Brighton pick us apart again. They've not been very good this year. And we are just making them look like world beaters. There's Archer back to Williams. Cock has found himself a bit of space to wiggle around in on the left-hand side. Back to Ben Randami. There's Osario in the edge area. And it's close, but it's gone out for a goal kick. I mean, at least it was a good shot. Dear me, Dahl, lovely, calm interception. Playing from the back with pairs. Just have a chat, mate. Just Why not? Just keep passing. 1-2 football. 1-2. One, One touch. Shoot. No, you're not going to shoot from there. That's the wrong way. There we go. We've moved out of defence now. Ben Ramdami to Williams. We've got a long way to go forward here. Cock is going to try and run around everyone. He's, not. He's sent it inside to Williams, who just about hangs onto it. Uh, threads it wide to Brugge. 
Brugi, Roger. Roger, Roger. Inside to nobody. He has Yao Pedro again. He's got lots of goals. There's Brugge. There's shot. There's wide. The fact that Brighton sub popped up just as the shot went past the post got me a little bit confused. I thought it had gone in. Uh, goal kick. We need to make some substitutions soon. We are 4-0 down. Thanks for watching, because I'm sure you've turned off by now. Watching me suffer. Maybe, you, maybe you're hanging around to watch me suffer. In fact, do that. Hang around. Watch me suffer. I'm, I'm very good at losing, so... There's Williams. He's got the ball. Back to Dahl. Do something with it, mate. Earn those £7 million we've spent on you. It's not very much, really, is it, in the grand scheme of things. But it's a lot for this club. We've set our record high spending of £16 million this year. I say record high. It's the only spending we've ever done. Uh, there's Roger. He's new. He's not oh, inside to Williams. Good ball. There we go. Matt Williams. Well done. Pick you up. Go again. Let's get another four. We can do that, right? 25 minutes. We'll try, that's for sure. Another couple of uh, Brighton substitutes. We need to make some of those. But we are too busy watching Brighton pick us apart. There's Beto. Better that you don't do that. Oh, thank you. 4-1, corner. Just win the ball from this corner. Go up the other end and put it in the net. And then the second, like the last 20 minutes will be worth watching. No? Okay, just head it out for another throw in. Danger zone. Yeah, I've still not made substitutions because I'm just worried. Yeah, Pedro for his fourth. Nope, just gets an assist this time. Right, Joey Verman scored. Archer's had a naff game. Lee Byrne, you can come on for him. Um, we'll pause what's happening in the background. Masterson, you've been poor. Cooper, on for him. Uh, you, Brugge, you can come off for a Sean Scott. Not having a good game. No one's having a good game. I think that is kind of without a doubt here. So White can cover uh, Cock on the left. And then Cock can come off for Smith in the centre. That's four... And Asario's not had a great game, so we'll bring on the youngster, Ibrahim Conte, who can play anywhere but Trecortista. So we'll put him at Shadow Striker and hope for the best. Wonderful. They've scored, by the way. It's offside, obviously. It's not offside. Boarded 5-1, Brighton. Yes, we want to make all those changes. Yes, we do. 20 minutes to go. Uh, not a good game. Not a good game. So, two games that I... Come back for specifically because I thought they were winnable. We've lost. Lost to Plymouth in League One in the FA Cup. And Brighton are just pulling our trousers down and giving us a good old spanking. Which is not good imagery, but it's what's happening. 5-1 uh, as we painfully edge towards full time. Another 20 minutes to go still. This could get worse. This could be the worst defeat of the season. I mean, we did better than this against Man City. We lost 6-3, but we at least looked half decent. And for 85 minutes against Manchester United, we looked good and then conceded too late. So that's the situation. Oh, interception. Go on. If it's a lax pass like that, get on the end of it and steal it. Now, uh, we'll do another shout of berate because, you know, it worked. It didn't. It didn't work last time. But we've got a throw in in our own half. Better than nothing. Brunt inside to Smith. Back to Cooper. Cooper, dilly-dallying on the ball. Back to Brunt. We just... There's nothing. No forward motion. Some, oh, there we go. Scott to Conte. Back to Williams, the goal scorer. Can he thread a ball through to anyone? No. Not like that. Worth the money. Essentially, we're not a very good side, so that's kind of the problem. Uh, ben Rondami goes back to Pears, who starts again. Smooth Cooper, Smith, Conte, Williams. Out to White on the left. Can he do anything? He's cutting inside. That's a nice little, oh, lovely ball. Conte nearly got on the end of it, but it was intercepted. And the header goes over for a Brighton goal kick. We have lost this one. And ultimately, looking at the stats, I'm not quite sure how they've got five goals and we've only got one. So, just, I don't, I don't get it. Literally, I don't get it. They've absolutely took every single opportunity in our house slim. And we've done nothing with any of ours. Ben Rondani with a corner. Back post, headed clear, on the edge, Conte, goal mouth scramble, Cooper gets his first ever goal, and it's 2-5. I don't think we're going to get another three goals in the next zero minutes, I'll be honest. There's full time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, I certainly haven't, but we're far from pleased with that result. Coming up next, we've got some more games that we'll probably lose, because that's just the situation we currently find ourselves in. We are 16th in the league, four points adrift of Bournemouth in 15th. Usefully, seven clear of Fulham in the relegation zone. So, we are still okay. We need another 13 
points, maybe. I'd say 15 to be absolutely safe. So, five more wins across the next 14 games. Let's have a look at the schedule and see if we've got any chance of doing that. Everton, potentially. I'd say a point there. Brentford, three points. That's four. Bournemouth, away, probably five points in total. Fulham, we can beat them. We need to beat them. That'd be eight. And that's as good as six. No. Wolves, maybe get one. That's nine. And then Sheffield Wednesday and Leeds on the last two games. We need to win those two, basically. That would be 15 points. So, I'm not convinced. Right, we'll be back for those two last games of the season because we should win them. Sheffield Wednesday were bottom and awful. Again, and then Leeds, who will be battling us for the final relegation space unless we've already put down uh, Fulham uh, because that's our only chance. Premier League table is abysmal, but we'll be back. Last two games of the season, hopefully not in a relegation fight. Hopefully we are safe by then, but I've not got my hopes up. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.